Welcome to the Harper Classroom series of instructional videos. This video is how to perform break-even analysis with Excel. From previous videos, we've seen the break-even problem where the three processes, automated, cellular, and job shop, we have the fixed cost and the variable cost per unit of production. We have also seen the solution where X is the annual production and the break-even between automated and cellular, which is 15,000, cellular and job shop, which is 5,000, but let's see how to solve this with Excel. So we bring in Excel. And the first thing, uh, let's uh, type in the problem. Break even problem. Here's our processes. Automated, cellular, and job shop. And up here, let's look at our fixed cost, variable cost, and down here type in the numbers, 110,000, 80,000, and 75,000. And over here we have 5, 4, and 2. So up here we want to see the break-even. So let's make this large so we can actually see the, um, the equations. Let's make it very large. And let's put the break even between the different processes. Bring this down. Bring this down. So let's do the break even between automated and cellular. Even though we have the equation here, solving this equation for x in Excel, it'll be equal, open parenthesis, we have the fixed cost minus the fixed cost divided by then the variable cost minus the variable cost. So notice when I say that the equal says I'm going to do the calculation and notice the blue is with the blue, the red is with the red, purple and green, but also the B and C here is the columns and the 4 and 6 represent the rows and so it's color coded and also uh, you have numbers and letters. So when I return this, I should see 15,000, and sure enough, return, and there's my 15,000. Now the break of it between cellular and job shop, equal open parenthesis, 80,000 minus 75,000, divided by 5 minus 4. Again, the blue and the red, the purple and the green, with the letters and the numbers. Press return, and there's my 5,000. And so if I want to reduce this, I can just come up here and either move it, or just if I double click on this, it automatically scale it. So here I have my break even problem. I can click here and make that bold and underline. I can format it with uh, squares. Uh, I can do all kinds of things to it now that I have my values. That ends the how to perform break-even analysis with Excel. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching.